Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of Chapter 2 in Descriptive Statistics. We're asked to create a stem and leaf plot to display the data that we're given, which is the eruptions of a geyser, the heights of that. I am going to use Excel with the PHDAT add-in. I find that is the quickest way to create stem and leaf plots that satisfy my stat lab. I'm going to go here and click on the little blue rectangle. Now you can open an Excel and have the data automatically copied and open up an empty Excel workbook, but I like to work with an open workbook, so I'm going to just click on Copy to Clipboard, make sure all the data is highlighted in blue, and I'm going to right click, select Copy, and move over to my open workbook, and I'm going to click that first cell, which is the habit I like to get into, and then I'm going to paste. Now there I have my data. Once we're in Excel, we'll go to PHStat. Now, depending upon your installation, PHStat may be like mine and have its on tab on the ribbon, or it may be located under the add-ins tab. So we just open up PHStat. We go to Descriptive Statistics, find Stem and Leaf, and it gives us a dialog box here. We need to give it our data, the variable cell range, and I'm going to select that and then click back to make sure it's selected all my data. My first cell does not contain a label. Make sure you uncheck that or you will lose one of your data points. We're going to let PHStat decide on its own what the stem unit should be. It will generally match what my stat lab wants if you do that. And I'm going to go ahead and uncheck summary statistics. We don't need that for this particular problem. And I'm going to just click OK. And we get our stem and leaf display. It gives us the stems 9 through 15. And remember, since our stem unit is 10, that means that we would multiply that times 10. So 15 means 150. So this would be 150, 153, 140, 141, 145, and so on. Now, if we compare what pH stat gave us, and we look through the options here, you can see that A doesn't look like it. That's kind of a traditional bell curve. Here's a bell curve with a little bit of skewed on the upper end. And here we look at option Charlie, C for Charlie, and that, by golly, matches what we have over here. So that's the quickest way I know to get a stem and leaf plot that matches pH step. Hopes this helps. And if it does help, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Stats Files. Just click on the big red button.